Oh, missus, I can't wait to see what we're up to in season two. Yes, it's so strange that we have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, I got my popcorn. You got your phone on silent? Yes, let's go. Sweden, a small forest-covered country that sits on the northern tip of Europe. No, 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 mister. Season two is not a traveling show. Oh, okay. Let's see what it's about. Oh, look at me out exercising with Arabella and Elegy. Exciting. Here I am, out on a walk with my two best unmarried girlfriends. It must be really hard being with me since I'm so beautiful, successful, humble, and married. Mm, we're so honored to be your friend. Sure, babe. But you do know you're not married, right? What? What are you talking about? Of course I am married. I've known you for a decade, and I know for a fact that that isn't true. Yeah, you are not married, so don't brag about it. This is nonsense. I'm gonna call Mr. and say what he has to say about it. Hello? Why have you been lying to me all these years? I'm out on a bendy woman, heart rate boosting power walk, and I get told that I am not married. What are you talking about? Am I married or am I not married? Babe, of course we're not married. We just say that we are. This is scandalous. I have been living in sin for all these years. Oh, don't come closer. I'm having a moment of despair. Babe, just come home. We'll talk about it. Oh, I'm coming home. I have to go. My life is falling apart and I'm out in nature. Babe, what is going on? Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. You are freaking out. I am losing it. My whole reputation is on the line. Me, a single woman. Why am I not married? Babe, you're not single. We're just not married yet. But I always say that I'm a married woman. Well, just because you say that you are married doesn't mean that you are married. We need papers and a ceremony for that. I feel betrayed. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Stop it. Stop it. If you want to get married, we'll get married. It's about time I make an honest woman out of you and make this official. You just wait. I will get married. Oh, so you mean that I get to plan my whole wedding and design my own dress uh -huh. and invite all the guests that's going to be so jealous of me? Yes. Oh, it would be amazing. There is so much to do. All you have to think about is make me look like the star that I know I am on my wedding. On our wedding day, but yes. Oh yeah, whatever, don't talk. Okay. I have so much to do. See you later. Well, I guess this has to be a wedding season then, missus. Oh, absolutely. Can you believe that you will get to spend a whole season watching me get ready for the wedding? Becoming more and more beautiful for each episode? No, it must be a dream for you. Watching Develbrook's Chronicles, Wedding Edition. All right, looks like this season will be centered around our beautiful hometown, Malmö. But if you're new to the show, who are we, Develbergs? We're a real-life power couple who's been together for over 13 years. We are designers, performers, globetrotters, and self-proclaimed global Swedish LGBTQIA ambassadors. In our previous season, we traveled all over Sweden, but now it's time to hit the brakes, stay at home, and celebrate our love. In this season of the Vilbox Chronicles, we invite you to join us as we plan our own big, spectacular Swedish wedding. All right. Hello. Hello, it's Mrs. Villeberg, and I am getting married, and I need a wedding official.
fishing jaunts, someone just as beautiful as I am, stunning and perfect, amazing, mind-blowingly beautiful. Yes, of course. It would be an honor. Thank you so much. See you soon. Kissy, kissy. I guess I'm going to Sweden. I love Sweden. Okay, driver, let's go. Did you know that the Swedish word for wedding, bröllop, comes from the old Viking tradition of brudlop, translates to bride running? Once the wedding ceremony had ended, it was time for the festivities to move into the mead hall. And how did the Vikings get there, you ask? Well, they raced. Both families lined up in two lines, and then they ran as fast as they could, with the bride leading the way. And the family that lost the race had the pleasure of serving the winning family's drinks the rest of the wedding celebration. I have a meeting with Christina. She is a fabric expert, and she will show me her favorite wedding fabrics. Come on and join me. Hello! Hi, Christina. Hello, welcome again. Nice well, to see thank you. Thank you. Thank you for opening up the shop for me. Of course. I'm so excited. So am I. Yes, let's take a look. What are you looking for today? So I'm getting married. Yeah. And I want the perfect dress. Of course. So we need to find the perfect fabric. Self-Made is a one-stop shop for all of your creative sewing needs and the obvious choice for us when we go fabric shopping. Picked out some here yes. for you. Oh, I love that you put them in a gradient. I think this might be a little too white for me. Yeah. A little too innocent for me. I think more like this, more to the creamy side. You think about this. Christina is such a big help, and she always makes me feel like I'm the most important customer in the world, which I am. When coming here, I always know that I leave with everything I need, and more. Are you married? Yes, you I You are am. married yes. for how long? 30 years. 30 years? Yes, oh, yes. and you're still so young. <laughs> Did you make your own wedding dress? Yes, of course. You did? Yes, of course. Did you go for this color or this color? Actually, more like you. More like me, yes. yes. yes this yes. is like a more popular yes. choice, yes. I think, yes. because this is too innocent, too, too white and crisp. Looks like a snow monster. Yeah. We don't want that. When shopping for wedding fabrics, always buy more than you think you need. This is not the time to be cheap. I love shine. Uh, shall we take 10 meters heels also? No, let's do 15 meters. I'm gonna put Mr. to work. He loves to sew stuff for me. Christina is an angel, making sure I don't forget anything, helping me with zippers, thread, lining, and making sure I pick the right colors. All this wedding hustle is making me go colorblind. I love it. Oh, thank you. So many bags. Is it heavy? No. No, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time. I wish you a mm -hmm. happy day. And I will send you photos when it's done. Thank you. you will love Bye. it. Are you a busy goblin on the go looking for quick fixes in life just like me? Well, listen up and Daddy Vilberg will give you some life-changing beauty advice that will save your day. It's hard to find that one perfect finishing powder for your unique face that fits all your needs. You know, people don't just come in one shade and neither should your powder. So why not mix your own powder so you always look flawless? You will need one transparent powder, one powder that matches your skin tone, and one shimmering highlighting powder in a matching nuance, and one empty powder container. You take three spoons of translucent powder and put it into the empty container. And then you take one spoon of each of the other two powders and add to the mix. Put the lid on and give it a good shake. Quick trick, huh? Now you always have the perfect powder to freshen up your face without overstuffing your handbag. Hi, kids. 
and welcome to the Wilberg studio. This is where the magic happens. As you might know, we create everything we wear, and what we don't make from scratch, we modify and bedazzle. In this week's episode, while Mrs. is out planning for our big day, I'm going to create her a wedding day must, a small, fabulous evening bag. Why? Well, tradition calls for it. It's a known fact that women do carry an evening bag at dinner time. And so does the missus. Mrs. just rushed by with the fabric she bought for the wedding dress, and I'm going to use a small part of it to make the bag. Other things you need are felt, Aida fabric, a magnetic button, gold metal rings, a zipper, matching thread, a sewing machine, and a whole lot of patience. I start out by making a cone in paper, and before settling for a shape, I make sure that the circle lays flat against the table. I transfer this to felt with space to sew on the straight sides and cut the piece free. We need two of these. Using the felt piece as a pattern, I cut out both the decorative wedding fabric and a lining fabric. Make sure to leave an extra centimeter for seam allowance. Start out by sewing the lining to one side of the felt piece and gently needle the lining over the side of the top. This is where you will measure the zipper and sew it in place. Next step is to place the decorative fabric on the opposite side and needle it in place. Gently fold it in along the side of the zipper and sew it in place along the straight lines only. The zipper side I prefer to sew by hand. This is more tedious but it makes for a more flawless finish and won't leave an ugly seam along the opening of the bag. You fold the bag and sew the straight side seam together. Turn it around and voila, one side of the bag is done. Now you just repeat the procedure on the other side. All that is left is to sew the underside together so that the zipper is the only part of the bag that is visible. Malmö is Sweden's third largest city and situated in the south. Known as the hippest and most culturally diverse city in the country. Even though it's small, Malmö residents have the option of mixing up our hip Malmö life with the cosmopolitan life, having Denmark's capital city Copenhagen only 30 minutes away. My name is Mrs. Vilberg, and welcome to How to Keep a Man. Are you a single woman? Well, it's really hard for me to give you advice on how to keep a man. If you can't even find yourself a man to begin with, so instead, I'm gonna teach you how to flirt. For me, you can go two ways. You can be really hard to impress. Like, oh, you have only won the Olympics once. Or you can be really easy to impress. Wow, you have two eyes. Be brilliant, be elusive, and get yourself a man. Even though this city is full of beautiful castles, churches, and parks, finding a venue for my outlandish wedding is not easy. I want a place that is dramatic, has gorgeous Swedish architecture, and enough room for all of my guests. Oh, such beautiful flowers. So, heading off for meeting. High Court fulfills all of my requirements. Many court cases have been settled in these halls. You can really feel the judgment in the walls. I love it. The building was erected in 1917 and was used as Malmö's High Court until 1994. And it is now a protected landmark and available to rent for special occasions. I just had the most beautiful meeting. This is the place. I found it. This is where the wedding ceremony will take place. Stay tuned. Oh, hi everyone. And welcome back to my cooking show. This season is all about my upcoming wedding and therefore I have renamed my show Mrs. Wilberg's Wedding Food. Clever, right? And this season, I will let you join me while I prepare some of the dishes for the wedding, because most likely you are not invited. 
but you still want to know about the deliciousness that the guests will be feasting on. I will start by making the hummus. Mmm. You take chickpeas, garlic, cumin, sesame paste, oil, lemon juice, and mix it all together. Quick and easy. Perfect little dish if you have vegans at your wedding. <laughs> El tudod képzelni, hogy ezt a tebenek a dalmot? Hogy csak uborkát, meg sárgarépát fogunk kapni. Mind a pénz biztos elköltötte a mennyasszonyi ruhára. Yeah. Milyen szegénység önzött. The hummus is done. I have made these perfectly chopped vegetable sticks. The second little appetizer I will make is a tumbrotsrulle, skinny bread roll, one of my favorites. You start with making a gorgeous stir with cream cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, feta cheese, green onions, basil, and apple chopped into small, small pieces. Stir it together. Now that you have your little mix ready, you take one of these skinny breads, then you take this little mixture, oh, then you spread it out, and you roll it together, and then you cut it into beautiful slices. And look, it's going around and around, hypnotic. Then you take a little piece of a, a leaf, so for decoration, there, tumbradsrulle, and hummus, the perfect little pre-dinner snack. And always remember, if I can do it, it doesn't mean that you can. I am very talented. The base for the bag is done, but it's not really to my liking just yet. What we need is a decorative handle to make it even more stylish and perfect. I measured the bag around the widest part around the opening of the bag and cut out a wide enough part to cover the zipper in felt. I attached a magnetic button on top before covering it all in the decorative fabric. The band needs a movable but sturdy handle to hold on to, and for this part I use Aida fabric as a base for the decorative fabric. I cut out a more oval shape to the handle to make it easier on the eyes. The felt part goes under the bag and a softer handle on top, and I use the gold metal ring as a decorative transition between the two. I sew it together by hand for a flawless finish. Time to show off! A stylish, small evening bag for a special day, made in only a few easy steps. Let's just hope that it's to the missus' liking. Why have you blindfolded me, missus? Oh, this is my way of keeping our relationship exciting. I might have found the most amazing venue for the after party. Can you believe it? Another boat. Mister is going to be so excited. I'm going to meet up with Linus, the owner of the boat. So cool. Imagine owning your own boat. Follow me. Oh, hi, Linus. Welcome, welcome, hi, welcome. Hi, how are you? Great, thank you. Thank are you. you the boat owner? I am the captain. Oh, so One of cool. The captains, at least. This is, um, it's, a, it's a boat from uh, 1888. Oh, so it's over 100 years old. Yeah. And it's called the Blue Boat. Yes. Or in Swedish, Blue Yeah. Uh, and up here, this is the upper deck. Here you can have a little champagne, maybe. Maybe, yes, why not? Uh, yeah. Maybe um, a snacks. little mingling, a yes, little a little. Yeah, receiving yeah. the guests. Yes, a little appetizer, maybe. And then we go downstairs, and that's where you have the party. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see it. The Blue Boat is the oldest ship in Sweden dedicated to culture. The decor is a mix of Parisian Bohemian saloon and industrial romance, perfect for an epic party like ours. This is the bar area. This uh, is the bar area. Yes. <gasps> and um, So here we can have a little bartender, maybe. Why not? Serving some drinks. Yes. Wow, it's so cozy and so many cool artworks as well. We've done a lot of the interior decoration ourselves. I love it. I love masks as well. There's masks over here. Can you see? Yeah, so this is um, this is the old cargo hold of the of the ship. How many people can be in this room? Uh, if you maximize the furnishment, 
you can you can actually seat a hundred people. Okay, so here, that's good. You won't have uh, so much wiggle room. No, then we will be like tight. Yes. But all the guests are super skinny. And over here, there's a little stage as well. This is amazing. Here's a stage and there's sound systems and there's light so you can see the performances when they dance and have fun. I think this is the perfect venue for my after party. Mister will love this. He's so into boats and he will be so mesmerized by you being a captain. So, okay, let's book this and let's go plan all the details. Help me down. Hey babe, how was your day? It was very productive. I found some fabulous locations for the wedding, even a surprise for you, because that's just the selfless, humble, loving wife-to-be that I am. Did you say location? Yes, surely I did. One elegant, regal, classic venue for me, for the ceremony, and for you, an underground, cool place for the dinner and after party, very you. I'm intrigued. I'm sure it's going to be perfect. So now that I'm all done with the planning, it's just for me to relax, have a spa day, and have a long beauty sleep. Have you really thought about everything? Yes. Have you thought about the flowers? The flowers? Oh my God, the flowers! 